we're back in the attic. So this guy is set off. Um, somebody disconnected all the all the condensate, so it set off the wet switch. This thing is totally drenched, so I might not be able to reset it. Uh, I gotta make sure that this pump works first. All right, so I've gotten the, uh, the little tank here. So we're gonna just make sure it works. Okay, cool, so the pump is functional. So I don't know why this drain was all disconnected. So we need to, it's not gonna let me reset this. It's, it's still wet. So I'm probably gonna have to bypass this, which I really don't want to do. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just bypass it, make sure the system works, and then uh, probably install a new one of these. So here's our wet switch connection. So it's breaking R to the thermostat. Um, so this wire here, which is or orange, and this wire, which is green. So if we look at here, our orange is a normally closed contact and green is just our connection. So uh, basically all we have to do is take this off, take that off and wire nut them together. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the pump switch. I don't know why nobody ever hooks up these float switches, it's so annoying. So I'll go get a, a wire for that. And then I'm just gonna get a new wet switch because um, I just don't think this is gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to reset anytime soon. So. Yeah, but we're gonna make sure the unit works before we do all that. Alrighty then, so uh, I've bypassed the wet switch. I took it out of the circuit. Um, I'm gonna just install a new one and then I'm gonna hook up the wire for the uh, float switch on the pump. But it looks like that's all it was. The unit's working fine. So we're gonna do that while I, uh, we're gonna leave it cooling while I um, go and get the parts I need and the wire. And then uh, we'll be back. But uh, yeah, that was an easy one. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and get all of our drain stuff situated. So I got this, I've put some tape on my, uh, I think it's called an MIP. Well, super bright. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got tape on here and that's just to seal it. We're going to go ahead and put this into our secondary. Uh, let me do with my screwdriver. Oh, there it is. Alright, so that's this guy here. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew that. So this should have been done at the day of install. Of course, I chose not to. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and pop that in there. And you pretty much just wanna hand tighten these things as much as you can get it. And that should be enough. We got our SS2, this is the new version, so you can adjust the float. Um, we're gonna install this into there. Uh, so let's get that done. This is the SS2. Um, so basically what happens is water will go in here if it's in the secondary and they will fill this up. And when it fills it up, it'll actually cause this to float up, which will pop a reed switch in there, which will open a, open the circuit and not allow 24 volts to go through. And generally you're gonna have this wired into your R or your Y going outdoors. Um, and then it'll break the connection that way. It doesn't continue cooling, therefore it'll stop condensating. Now this particular one, you can actually adjust the height of the um, the float switch. So I'm gonna higher it up just a smidge. Yeah, it should be good. And then we go ahead and lock it like that. There you go. Let's go ahead and put this on. This guy's a little different. It's not just your, you know, a float switch. This one's actually a moisture sensor, so we need to get power to it. So if you look here, you have your black and red, so that's gonna go R to C. That's gonna power the sensor. And then you have a normally closed and a normally open switch. So green is pretty much your line in, and then orange or white is your uh, switch. So we're gonna use the orange one because we want it to be closed to allow it to work. That way if it sets off, it'll pop open and it'll kill the unit. And then uh, it was originally wired into the R going to the thermostat. I'm probably going to go ahead and wire it all into the Y signal going to the condenser. That way they at least have fan and they'll have heat. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them all in the same circuit. So we're gonna run these in series. So 
the drain switch will be in series with the pump switch with the wet switch. So if any of them get set off, it'll cut off, cut off the, uh, the unit. Uh, it'll cut off the outdoor unit so it won't keep making water. Okay, so we got all our drain switches hooked up. So for this wet switch, which is a hockey, hockey puck thing, uh, we have RNC, that's the power, the sensor, okay? So we have our Y, and this is going to our outdoor unit, okay? So it goes into this white wire here, okay? The white wire goes up and through, right? And then it goes into the pump, and it comes back out of the pump, and then we wire it into this switch, and then it comes back out of that switch, and then we wire it into our red wire, which runs back in through here, okay? And then we run that into our green wire of our sensor, okay? And then it goes through the green wire, and then it comes back, through the orange wire and then we wire it into our yellow wire which leads to the condenser unit so if any of these three things uh, trip it'll kill uh, the 24 volts going to the outdoor unit therefore it will stop condensating uh, but the blower and all that will keep running so uh, we're going to go ahead and cap this off because this is an extra one we don't need and uh, we should go ahead and cycle and make sure everything works and then uh, i'll put a diagram on how this was wired right now so that's how it's wired if that makes more sense because uh, the wires are kind of all over the place here so all right condenser came on which means i wired it properly uh yeah awesome so that's how you wire up uh three drain safeties all in series so hopefully this helps you out so thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician i am hit that bell notification follow me on instagram and facebook Thanks for watching.